Combating maternal mortality, St. Luke's and UMKC now leading a nationwide study focused on women with cardiovascular disease. That's the leading cause of maternal death. KCTV5's Nigel Hood reports on the $8.3 million grant awarded to fund that study. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of maternal death, according to experts here at St. Luke's, and that disproportionately affects women of color. This study aims to take a comprehensive look at how to fix the problem. Yeah, it was very scary for me. It's been almost three years since Kia Rhodes gave birth to a healthy baby boy. After giving birth, she was diagnosed with preeclampsia. She's sharing her experience to help improve outcomes for other mothers. So it was very scary because I didn't know if I was going to have a stroke. I didn't know if my body was going to have a heart attack. I didn't know what was going on with my body. Doctors are using results from the study to better understand how a patient's background, such as their social status and insurance, can affect their maternal outcomes. Adverse pregnancy outcomes like preeclampsia and stroke have a higher impact on minority mothers like Rhodes. The care team here at St. Luke's, they hurt me. Ashley Gomez is a nurse at St. Luke's and was diagnosed with gestational diabetes during her pregnancy. Since I kind of went through, you know, some little high risk things, um, you know, with my own pregnancy and scares, kind of being able to be there for, um, you know, the moms through theirs. The goal through the study is to standardize maternal care practices at hospitals across the country. So at least that piece is standardized across the country and hopefully that will help to influence improving outcomes across our country. There's a total of 1,000 pregnant mothers at 36 medical facilities across the country that will be taking part in this study. In Kansas City, Nigel Hood, KCTV 5.